Let's play the Los Angeles Dodgers. Tonight's first game of the series is presented by Health. In the League Championship Series, five of the last six, winning the World Series in 2020. There's They're on the mound. Escobar will start at third. All reliables right there. And the Dodgers won their first two meetings with the Mets when they played at Dodger Stadium back in June. Mets rallied and won the last. He was booing Mookie. No, I understand. This Mookie in enemy territory. The go. That Joey Gallo, who was struggling so badly for the Yankees, would be even better last month. First pitch of the night by Walker is hammered foul, and we're underway. Dodgers took three out of four in Miami before coming here. They had a wraparound series for today. And Walker buries a slider in the dirt, and it's one and one. Well, the Dodgers are fourth in the National League with 81 stolen bases, but only caught. And he has a propensity for the leadoff home runs. And yeah, the Dodgers leading the league in runs scored. And Walker misses all clubs by the Dodgers. And Betts won the end long term, traded him to the Dodgers, who signed him to a 12 year, 361 million. Dodgers. And he goes down swinging on the splitter. So Walker has a strikeout. Beauty of the splitter is to throw it at the knees, and then it'll break in the Turner. Freeman and Turner are 1 2 in the National League in base. A fine player. There's just no if ands, or buts about it. 20. It's one on the ground for Lindor. Another successful splitter by Walker, and he gets first two hitters. Well, they have. Yeah, he pops up the first pitch he sees and fouls it off the left side out of play. 28 home runs against the Mets. And after a, an emotional life continues, they have to move forward. Remember, he got only a month left in the season, a little over a month. But he leads the league in doubles with 42. And Walker finds the outside corner with a splitter, and it's 2 and 2. Gave up a long home run to Aaron Judge, but not much else. And that just missed him. And Freeman fights one off his hands. That's. And that's outside ball four. So Freeman hurt his elbow right at the end of the regular season, and that carried over into this. That'll bring up Max Munson. Chase. One of the most disciplined hitters in baseball. He can say this is not an athlete. I mean, he doesn't have an athletic body, but he is a 94. And that was career against Taiwan Walker, but the one was a home run. Out in the shallow right field. And Muncie lines one right to McNeil in the shitting. That's come to bat against Andrew Heaney with no score. Geico Mets starting lineup. Buck Walter goes with Darren Ruff and Eduardo S. The stabilizers on that infield. They played just about every game. Uh, Trace Thompson they acquired for against Andrew Heaney. Another diamond in the rough that the Dodgers have polished up. And is with 10 strikeouts and both starts. Brandon Nimmo takes a fastball. It's long enough ago that David Wright had a home run against him in his debut, but he was a sinker. Another one of those. Down with the slider, two and one. Another. Popped up in foul ground. Muncie tracking it. Turner coming over. Say team in the World Baseball Classic. That's up the middle, and Nemo's got a leadoff hit. Betts is going to play second base in the World Baseball Classic, something he did in his minor league career. Wants to play second day. Huh? Well, Brandon off to a hot start. Sunday, so he's had basically two days of rest. Went two for a And he pushes a bunt to the vacant side. Heaney off the mound. Fields it in fair territory again. Nimmo heading home. The throw by Mookie not in time. The Mets take the lead. Marte picked it up before it got to the line and threw a backhand heave that went down the line. Gary. You're going to give him the right side of the infield. Look, that's all he had to do. Cheap run and another one on third base. So, so it could be two gifts. And you're right, foul. Poor choice by Heaney. I Just mean, how did he expect that ball to get? Tucks that head into his shoulders as he. So nice. it'll be a bunt hit for Marte and then an E1. One other thing about that play. As Lindor swings over a slider, Mookie was rolling down the right field line, and that's what enabled Nimmo to score all the way from. But I think Freddie thought he was going to let it go. Well, another shift now. Infield back. They're conceding a run on a ground ball with nobody out. 
And Lindor. And they're shifting against Lindor batting right handed, which most teams don't do. They usually shift against. One two from Heaney, and he hits him. And Lindor will go to first with some words of advice for Alonzo before he heads down to first base. Little back foot slider and hits the front foot. Second league lead with Paul Goldschmidt. And he takes a fastball. Five straight games. And really has a chance to do some first in. Going to shift just about everybody. No. Nope. One and one to Alonzo. And Alonzo takes it high. It's for three straight fast. Both against the Brewers, home and away. In the first start, he went four and two. Problems. And Alonzo got a pitch mm. to hit there and fouled it back two and two. Oh, I, right. That's pretty incredible. Mark Pryor, the Dodger pitching coach. That's more about rest than anything else. And they're just coming. Half in. swing wow. and Alonzo goes off and Vogel back out off to fast starts with the Mets. But both are really strong. And he hasn't had a lot of playing time. But Mets haven't faced a lot of left-handers. Right-hand batter so far. Another upstairs fastball, one and one. And watch where he sets up against these right-handers. He's been predominantly. So you play him to pull, you pitch him to pull. There uh -huh. goes Lindor, pitch up and away, throw into second by Barnes, and Lindor is tagged out a mile, and Marte never budged. And that's the second out. Well, it's a tough play for Marte. Boy, Barnes got a you know a double steal or Lindor trying to steal the base. Period. Well, if if he knew he getting a rundown, getting a rundown should be three and two, right? Yep. And he slices one foul. Gilling came on ball two, and then the next pitch was ball three. Yep. So we'll see if <laughs> again the three two and rough chases one for strike three. So Heaney. A happy camper having executed his escape from the Bronx. Well, he's gotten off to a mark. And first pitch curveball from Walker for a strike. American League in strikeouts. 111 walks, 200. What was that Sinatra song? All or nothing at all. Oh. <laughs> Only Frank can sing it. And Gallo down on strikes as Taiwan blows the fast. A lot of hitters can't lay off that. It just looks like a big old watermelon coming in. Nation League and batting ninth and on base percentage. And he's laid on a fastball, nothing in one. I found something out today about Gavin Lux that I didn't. Well, again, if you're a Met fan of a certain age, you know, well, Lux is his nephew. Huh. Walker off the mound to barehand it. And all college baseball coach won some national championships and he was game that were, became teachers and uh, really they're needed major leaguer but how did anybody look at Dwight Gooden as a high school player and not Trace Thompson who also has some rather famous blood and Mike Mike's a big Met fan you know he watches our games just every word nah, I think it's your every word Thompson hits one toward the hole. He made the if Lindor made the transfer the way he plant was going to plant. I don't think he. Oh no, he may have. And Lindor has been playing a real fine shortstop. Thompson, but certainly a beautiful backhand. Great extension just to get to this ball. And just years ago, the MVP. Since then, something far less than that, but still mm. always dangerous. And he swings from his. Uh, you know what? Shoelaces. Mm. And Walker are geared up for this series. Um, I mean, this is not necessarily a one side. One, both sides want to establish, particularly for the Dodgers to come here, losing the first two games to start that road trip, you recall, and then to come back and win the back. Play around as much as they want and look at up yeah, for the Mets. Every game is of great importance because they're trying to hold off the Braves. My point, though, is that gets oh. away, and it loose. Otherwise, he might have wound up at third. It's going to be a, what an E1. I got to take another so look. Each pit. I was going to. Bellinger grounds one on the right side, hurrying in is McNeil against Bellinger's speed and throws him.